You make me want it, want it, want it Early in the morning, morning, morning I can't use another round Another round Ooh, Hey, you come too. take it So I am on my way To Go to my house Take a quick shower, change clothes Take my son to his job interview Because he has a job interview His first job ever And you probably like, he 19 Why that child just getting a job? Because his mama said that he needed to focus on school and not worry about working. So that's what he did. So he's doing this until he starts school in January. So this is kind of like a part time for him. And if I feel like he can handle college along with working, then he can keep the job. If I feel like his grades in college is suffering, then he got to let it go. Because he's trying to become a um, what's that's called? homicide detective. Which he gotta go through the police academy first. So I am tired. This, I, yeah, I'm tired. I gotta take my daughter to go get her shoes because his phone. In, I mean, his uh interview is at four o'clock. So while I'm over there, I'm gonna go and get her shoes. I need to stop off at Michaels. I need to go to Walmart. I need to go to Dollar Tree. I need to go. Well, I ain't going to Kroger's because if I go to um, Walmart, ain't no need for me to go to Kroger's. I got to schedule my oil change for my car. I got a lot of stuff to do, y'all. And a little time to do it. That's why I be telling people, even when I'm off of work, I'm not off because all this week, I, all this weekend, I had something to do. I had to comb hair. Two heads now. Uh, what else I had to do? Cook because they wouldn't let me be free. Um, I went to Ikea and got my pillows. Then I went to Michael's, got me another planner. And then after that, um, what did I do? That was pretty much it, but it was just so busy. Like, it wasn't like, it wasn't a quiet moment. And, um, I cooked a meal so good Sunday. It's like, when I don't want them to eat all the food, and say something for the next day, they eat everything. But when I do want y'all to eat all the food, y'all have the leftovers in the refrigerator for like three, four days. So I said, this right here, I must have cooked my behind out. Because when I say there wasn't a pot on the stove nor the refrigerator, that is what I mean. I didn't even get to eat none of my food. They killed it. I thank goodness I put my husband plate up. But I really wasn't tripping because me and hubby had went to Cracker Barrel that morning. So normally I don't eat all my food at Cracker Barrel. I take some home too. So I ate what I had left from Cracker Barrel. So I wasn't mad. But y'all, your girl is making some life decisions as of late. I've really been trying to get my life and like really decide what I want to do. So y'all know we were approved to be homeowners. And not just homeowners, but to get our house our house built from the ground. So now we're just trying to decide if we want to relocate to another state or stay in Houston. And it's like now that I know I can get the house, I'm not stressing. I could take as much time as I want to. Like there's no rush for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not rushing. I just I feel like when it's time, I'm gonna know it's time, and I don't want to rush the process. So right now, I'm just doing all my research. Like my mom, she's getting ready to buy a house, so she's been, you know. Walking me through the process, telling me about different people and how to, you know, get approved and for certain things and how to get funding for certain things. So she's been helping me with that. And I'm just like, it's like once you know that you can do it and that it's possible, you're not in a rush no more. See, at one point in time, I was in a rush because I never thought it was possible. So I thought I had to do this, that, and the other. And now that I know I don't, I'm like, okay, I can do what I want. Now, that don't mean that Key going spending crazy because Key will never do that. She's still saving. 
but I'm more of pacing myself now because I know my possibilities and I know what I can and can't do. So I'm not tripping. Like, what are they doing? Like, he went around me like I was the one uh, holding us up. No, sir, Sam. He's holding us up and he's holding us up. So, I'm just, I don't know. And it's like, I, I'm just, I don't know. Like, have you ever been in a place where you just stomped? You just don't know what to do? And you just trying to figure it all out? That lady crazy. But I'm just stumped right now and I'm trying to figure it all out because I really don't know what I want to do. Like I've never had so many options. Like I have options now and I don't know what to do with them options. I don't know. I'm like in a confused state of mind right now. Like what do you do? I know for sure my husband want to relocate. He'll do what I want to do, but he really wants to move. So, it's like, I don't know. I mean, I don't really have nothing down here. I got a few family and friends, but that's, you know, my mom and my sister, my brother, you know, in Dallas. So, it's like, what do you do? I don't know. So, I've just been really, like, sitting down thinking about stuff. Because since, what? Since 1998, Houston has been home for me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, oh gosh, I'm so confused. I'm so, normally I have everything figured out. And this time I'm like, what the hell am I going to do? And what is life? Because I swear to God. And I was like, a couple of years ago, I didn't have these type of options. I didn't have choices. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna get down this road and drive because I got stuff to do. I may vlog once the children get with me. I don't know. I don't even know if this is gonna be in the vlog. That might need to be a part one or part two vlog because I'm already seven minutes in and just conversating with you guys. And but y'all know I like to come on here for advice, I like to come on here and talk to you guys, especially when I'm like, what the hell? Because, like, I don't know right now. I don't know what to do. I don't I don't even know. It's like now that I got options, even if I was to stay in Houston, I don't even know what side of town I want to start building on. Like I'm like I'm a, You know how a puppy is confused of whether they should pee in the house or pee outside? That's me. I'm confused right now. Okay? I don't know what I want to do. I just know that I want to do it. I don't know. I'm just going to act. You know, my mom, this was my mom told me. This probably was the best advice some somebody could give me. Trust in God and trust in the process that God going to take me through. Because me trying to figure it out by myself, I ain't going to do nothing but be a nervous wreck. I ain't going to do nothing but stress myself out. I ain't going to do nothing but worry about stuff that don't need to be worried about right now so trust god in the process that he gonna take me through and that's all i can do right now oh y'all suck y'all got in my way i don't like this okay y'all y'all probably like what is you talking about girl there is two big trucks that i respect to the highest level of respectation that is picking up like the big loads of like um trees and stuff so i had to move out baby when baby i bit i don't play i ain't getting nobody way not nobody's so yeah i'm just trying to figure life i i i wish you know what i'm not gonna even say that because i was gonna say I wish this would have happened when I was a lot younger, but I think it happened at the right time. I think it happened when it was supposed to. Because I've just been through so much in my life. I done seen some, so much. I done been through so much that it's brought me to this point right here. 
and I'm grateful definitely grateful I just I never just had options like this and it's just crazy because it's like what do, I don't know okay anyway y'all I'm finna get out of here I'm finna go pick up these well I'm finna go home and take me a shower first and then I'm finna go pick up my little ones and then we finna carry on about our day and I got a free chicken fillet sandwich and chicken fillet so I think I'm gonna go get that and I got oh I told y'all I gotta stop by the store already huh? y'all know my mind be going 100 miles a minute I know that ain't nobody saying to me. Oh, and I see that y'all loved my little food segment that I implemented. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. I, me and my boo decided that we're going to do this monthly since y'all enjoyed it so much. I'm really learning to step outside my box and just try different stuff on my channel. Because I noticed y'all love the vlogs and I love vlogging. Y'all, y'all love the food um, segments. And I was like, okay, you know, I just want to, I just don't want to be no one trick pony. I don't want to be just a natural hair, which I ain't done a natural, I need to, I need to do a natural hair video real quick. I don't want to be a natural hair, just, a, just do natural hair on my channel. I want to do a lot of things. I don't want you to get used to, used to me to the point where you be like, oh, she, she doing another haul video. I want to bring different stuff to my channel. I think that's what keeps your channel interesting. You know, the vlogs give people a glimpse of your life and, and, and let them know what's going on. And, and sometimes it lets them know that they're not the only ones going through something or going through that certain thing. That there are others out there that may be going through it too. But, you know, a lot of y'all like me. I'm trying to figure this cooking thing out still. I can cook. You know, but it's like some new things I want to try and I want to, you know, I want to expand because if I'm nothing else, I'm a baker. I'm a baker to my heart. <sighs> but I want to learn how to decorate cakes. Like my mom, she a beast. Like she a, she a, she's a certified beast. And I want to get like that. You know, I want to, I want to just do different things and bring y'all different things and learn different things. That's just what I want to do. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Seriously. But y'all know I can talk to y'all to death. Um, I start my workout. Well, and I'm so I'm not scared, but I hope I I hope I don't fail. I hope I stay on track. I hope I stay, you know, you know, I, I hope I keep with it. You know what? Dang that. I am gonna keep with it. I am gonna stay on track. I am gonna be alright. She will be focused, okay? You know, I, I have decided that this year I am removing negativity out of my life. I'm not gonna talk negative. I'm not gonna surround, have people around me that are negative. I'm not going to, I'm just not. I'm done with negativity. If, if there's an issue I'm, or a problem, I'm gonna find a solution to the problem. I ain't gonna be negative about it. You know, I'm not saying that I ain't gonna be mad about it or upset about it or worried about it. But with all that, I'm gonna think positive at the end of it and just really kind of find a solution or something up with it. You know, I'm, I'm, I've dealt with so much negativity in my life that I am tired of uh, being in that place, allowing people to try to keep me in that place and just emerging in a sea of negativity. She is walking into her light. She is walking into her season. She is walking into her purpose. Y'all be like, why is you speaking in the third person? I don't know. I am walking into my light. I am walking into my purpose. I am walking into my season. It's my time. And I feel it. And I know it. And I thank God for it. And I'm not saying every day going to be a sunny day. Because y'all know I'm going to keep it real. Every day not gonna be sunny, but it's gonna be worth it. And it's for those storms and those trials, I'm gonna take it and learn something from it. I'm not gonna just soak in it and say, this is happening to me. I'm gonna learn from whatever I endure, go through, or accomplish. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get out here. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Oh, and if nobody told you you were beautiful today, you know, simply keep on telling you you're beautiful because you simply are. Like, what kind of video would this be if I ain't tell y'all that? No, I'm going to tell you that. Like,
who don't tell they family they beautiful what you saying okay y'all i'm gonna get out of here bye